Hi guys, just wanted to get a quick video going here, a quick demo video on, uh, it's actually going to be on two separate units that I have up for sale right now. One is just, um, I'm using this Marantz 4270. Man, this thing is so clean. It's basically in mint condition. Um, I don't see anything wrong with it at all. It's perfect. And functionality wise, cosmetically, it is cherry. Anyways, so... Yeah, I just have that. Um, I have this TIAC uh, 3340, which is a four-track uh, four tape machine running through that. And I'm just going to do a quick little recording demo here. Um, nothing too crazy, but um, just wanted to show you uh, basically that all the functions are working. And um, this TIAC is really clean, too. It's pretty, Everything's working great. Um, I'm using just some old tape. I don't even know really exactly where it came from, but... <clears throat> the tape is a little bit messed up, but when you hear the recording, it's it's such this thing is it's such a fantastic machine that the recording sounds beautiful even with this old tape. So one thing I really like about these units is that uh, you can um, it'll take a seven inch reel or the ten and a half inch reels, and um, you can record at fifteen IPS too, which is obviously awesome. Um, so here, let's just get this thing going real quick. Um, right now I have all four tracks armed. I'm just gonna switch it over to the two, because we're only gonna be using two channels. So um, let's, uh, let me see, let's, uh, let's arm the tracks here. And then uh, we're just using this, this GLI turntable that I have here. Um, let's see, I was gonna start with, uh, actually, here, let me just, Switch this real quick. Um, wanted to kind of show two two styles of music since I don't know who is going to be buying this, but just wanted to uh, kind of see here. All right, so. switch back over to the tape here I just wanted to just do it kind of a, I don't want to need to record the whole song or anything but uh just wanted to show a couple songs that have a lot going on kind of and that's that's one of my favorite tracks on that uh uh George Harrison record um all things must pass so um 
Anyways, let's let's hear this played back. So, um, let's see. Good time to check out the. Uh, oops. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, for now, let's just hold on a second. Good time to check out the uh, rewind fast forward functions or anything. So here, let's rewind this. By the way, by the way, the counter is working too, perfectly. So. And this tape is, I mean, there's nothing going wrong. It's perfectly clean, but even with this old kind of crummy tape, it's still, oops, there, stop right about now. Ah, oh, man, I just missed it. Okay, let me thread this real quick. Uh, I don't think I can do this one-handed, so I can put it down for a second. Jack machine is really easy to thread too, obviously. I'm already done, so here. Let's uh, let me stop this record. And let's switch back over there. Okay, ready? Now let's check this out. Okay, here's the recording right here. You hear, even hear the little record. This is coming from the tape, obviously. I'm just gonna put something else on that's a little bit different here. This thing has a lot of, a lot of sounds coming from different places in the uh, audio field here. So let's kind of check this out. A lot of weird panning and stuff, but I just wanna show you how, how good this, um, this, uh, this 3340 can, uh, let's see here, watch this. Let's listen to the sound of this, um, this Vince Clark track through, uh, when it break gets into the drum break through this tape machine, all right? I'm gonna I'm gonna play it um through the through the um, turntable first, but we're gonna be recording, so let's let's give this a listen and, and give it a playback. Man, it, it sounds so amazing um, on this you know on this tape. This whew, just check this out, okay? Right, here we go. So let's get this. We're at we're at one twenty five. Okay, so okay, ready? Check this out.
let's uh let's see something real quick. Let's go back and give that a listen on the tape. Because um man, this sounds good. There's nothing like uh like recording on the tape. I mean, they can try to emulate it as much as they want, but there's there's really nothing quite like it. So let's give this a listen on this tape. So let me get, let me go forward a little bit here. So I think there's about I don't know, 120 right right somewhere in this area. Let's uh okay, so check this out. So you get the message. Um, man, there's just nothing like this, uh, nothing like recording on the tape. So uh, yeah, I'm thinking about maybe doing another another project, uh, something to do with um, with some with some multi-track recording or something. But for now, I just kind of wanted to show um, show the functionality of these two machines. And uh, man, they're both in really really beautiful condition. This TAC is functioning perfectly, and the Marantz is obviously something really really special. Um, I have, I have never seen one of these units in this type of condition. I mean, it's just perfect. The TX got a, got a couple of little scratches here and there, but I mean, as far as functionality goes, this thing is beautiful and I just serviced it too. So any questions, uh, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, yeah. So anyways, take care.